Hey, what's up, guys? This is meant to be a very quick uh, reaction video to the Amir Khan Phil LaGreco press conference. If I was not holding my phone, I would give uh, Phil LaGreco a standing ovation. And since I can't, let me give him a pound on the chest, a salute. Phil LaGreco, uh, you became a star today. You did. Boxing needs more guys like Phil LaGreco. You know, Phil LaGreco went in with game plan. He executed it and he succeeded. I would give him an A+. Plus, but I'm just going to give him an A because after the altercation, uh, he kind of softened up a little bit. Once his glasses came off, he kind of softened up a little bit. But he went in with game plan. He started out with, with saying who the fuck is Phil LaGreco. People asking who Phil LaGreco is. Hell, the only reason, way I know his name is because he is on Errol Spence's resume. And I've gone over Errol Spence's resume. That's all, that's really all I know about Phil LaGreco. And he went 10 rounds with Sean Porter. You know, I, I found that out about him also. But, um, you know, uh, he wanted people to know who he is. He wanted to sell his fight. He's been seeing what's been going on in combat sports, the UFC, Conor McGregor, things like that. This guy came in playing the bad guy role, wearing black with his shades on. And, uh, hey, he he succeeded, man. You know, very articulate, very smart what he was saying. Uh, on point with things that he was saying, you know, intriguing people to watch this fight. You know, I know publicly Eddie was saying that, you know, that, uh, you know, he shouldn't have said that. It shouldn't have been said. Uh, maybe he felt that in the moment. Maybe he did. Maybe he just said that because it was on the public stage. But privately, whether he just takes some time to think about it, see the attraction that it's causing or whatever, or maybe he just, you know, is feeling this way all along because he's, he is the promoter. I think uh, Eddie is going to be very happy. He's going to say yes. He's going to say this son of a bitch just sold this fight. You know, they are going head-to-head -head with uh, Carl Frampton and uh, Nonito Donaire, I believe, on that day. And there were talks about who's going to win the night, who's going to win the night. And uh, it was believed that it would be Donaire and Frampton. Well, I'm kind of thinking otherwise now. You know, in my eyes, that's a predictable fight. Carl Frampton wins, you know, most likely by decision. Uh, I doubt he gets a knockout, but if he did, it would not surprise me. You know, just look at the odds. Donaire is a heavy underdog. Not in his prime anymore. No longer top five pound for pound. Don't need Donaire. So, you know, I think this, I think uh, Phil Greco just won uh, Sky Sports and uh, Match Room tonight, man. You know, Eddie Hearn needs to be sliding Phil Greco a couple of extra thousand pounds, uh, uh, you know, for, uh, for uh, doing what he did today. He does not need to apologize. He should not feel bad whatsoever. Uh, why? And, and why do I side with him? What he said in the press conference that caused the uh, ruckus or whatever what got on the con skin, supposedly. You know, unless Khan was just, you know, doing it to sell the fight himself uh, by throwing in the water. But, you know, uh, Phil LaGreco said that, that Amir Khan went on a losing streak in his personal life. Uh, and then he said his wife. You know, when the crowd was like, oh, oh, you know. And then Phil LaGreco says that, uh, you know, he, he then tweeted Anthony Joshua, brought that up. The crowd was like, oh, oh, you know. And then he was like, uh, you tweeted him that he could have your, uh, you know, your leftovers. Like, you know, like, what's wrong with you, you know. And then that's when Khan gets up and throws the water in Phil LaGreco's face. Did Phil LaGreco uh, cross the line, in my opinion? Uh, you know, should he apologize? No. Why? Because... He is saying what is public knowledge. He is saying what everybody knows, what's been reported, what's been talked about, what Amir Khan himself put out for the world to know. You know, he was the one who was going back and forth publicly with his wife on social media. He was the one who was tweeting Anthony Joshua. You know, Amir Khan did these things. He put these things out there, man, for everybody to see. You know, it would be one thing if Phil LaGreco said, you know what, I heard behind the scenes, uh, you know, that your wife does X, Y, Z. You know, I heard that Anthony Joshua did X, Y, Z to your wife, uh, you know, without nobody knowing about it, with, with, with no public knowledge of, you know, marital problems or, or anything like that. It would have been one thing if Phil LaGreco said, yeah, you know what, I heard this about your child, you know. 
you know, he didn't he did not say that. He said things that, that we all know about, things that have been reported and talked about. So it's fair game, man. It's out there. You know, it was it personal? Yes, it was. But uh this is out there, man. This has been discussed, talked about. Amir Khan put these things out there himself, man. You know, he he put he he tweeted these things. He had a little public spat with his wife, uh AJ. It's fair game, man. It is fair game. So no Phil Greco does not need to apologize. Uh again, I salute him, I commend him, pat on the back. You did a fine job, man. You uh you sold the hell out of this fight, man. Hell, I want to see that more than Frampton Donaire. You know, who who's watching his press conference and not want to watch his fight now? You know, this guy sold his fight. You want to see what Amir Khan looks like on the comeback? You want to see if Phil Greco can back up his words and uh you know beat Amir Khan? You know, so and when it comes to that fight, I cannot wait to see props on that fight to see what the knockout prop is on uh, Le Greco. You know, it should be sizable because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a big underdog in that fight. So, uh, and I think the only way he will win is by knockout. And we know about Khan's chin, so I cannot wait to see uh, what their prop will be. I'm, I'm predicted a small play on their prop will uh, bring back a nice return if uh, if uh, Le Greco pulls it off. So, you know, that's it, guys. Uh, you know, I have not seen the interviews uh, after all this happened. I will be doing that soon, but uh, again... Salute to Phil Greco, man. He sold the hell out of this fight. No apologies needed. He he talked about things that was already out in the public. He did not say anything that we did not know already, you know. So and he needs to stay on his game. Keep wearing the glasses. Keep talking shit and don't apologize, man. Keep selling. This guy became a star today, man. Uh, you know, people people know who Phil Greco is now. Uh, hell, if he loses this fight, I think he will have other opportunities to make money and sell other fights. So. You know, boxing these guys like Phil Greco, man. Guys who can talk and sell. That's it. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.